I'm Fran with Stampendous and we're doing a lot of really fun things with embossing powders and I've got a pancake griddle here and a whole array of embossing powders and I'll just show you quickly how they all come together. They're so colorful and so many different types. So I've got my pancake griddle set to about 300 degrees and I'll go up or down a little bit from there. And then I'm working on some craft sheets just to do all my melting on that. And just to show you what I've started here, I've taken um, a laser cut uh, piece, and these are from Clear Scraps, and I've melted a one thick layer, turn this around, this is the chunky clear, and we call it deep impression because that's what we're going to do with it. <laughs> and so I just sprinkled it all across over the edges, and by trapping the heat a little bit under the clear, it's all melted and smooth. So now I'll start adding all sorts of other fun colors of embossing powder. And I'm going to start with the sky, and I'm sort of turned around from your view here, but um, I can see a little bit better where I'm going. I try to do it upside down, but it usually looks better if I don't. <laughs> so now another shade of blue is going to give me sort of a horizon line. And let's see. Let's do uh, this is some of the golden sand and a whole layer of that in the foreground is going to give me a really nice look. So I'm going to put the lid back on and let that melt a little bit. And then I'll show you another really fun trick that's going to make a puddle here. So some more of the clear. And we'll add a little bit of this Pacific, which is a clear blue. And it's just going to give me a really nice look of some water and I also sprinkled see some of the chunky white over here and this gives me a nice little bit of some surf so to speak <laughs> and then this is the um, Lux mix it's not an embossing powder, but it's got all this mica and glitter, and I'll melt a bunch of that in for some more bling. <laughs> okay, and then it's just nice to have the heat coming from underneath, and I can sprinkle and see exactly what's happening. I'm going to take this off and let it cool just so that I can handle it. And then we'll take the lid off of this one. And now that's all melted. Look at that. It's just like that's pretty fun. Turn it, shall I turn it around here? Well, you just, yeah, you can kind of see the whole look there. Okay, so let's let this cool just a minute and I can chop it off. It's still warm. But this just gives me another way to create some little puddles that will work into the plan. And actually, some of the little tidbits from other ones that I've taken off, we can melt some of that back in. Actually, let's try that. I think I might turn it back around here if that's okay. I think I'll like the cool one better. Okay, so now we'll put this puddle in. <laughs> and then I'll take some of these uh, little bits and I can break them up and create interesting shapes. And it just gives me the whole look of surf there and kind of fun shapes. And then another real helpful tool here is just a little hair pick. And I like to get the ones that don't have the plastic tips. And we'll let that melt just a little bit more. And maybe I'll take a little bit of this and we'll make a little cloud up here.
<laughs> no, that's okay. And then the chunky white, I'll do a little bit more sprinkling with that, which is just kind of fun. Yeah, and every time they come out a little bit different, but it's just really fun. So now I can move some things around, maybe make a little wispier clouds up there. Isn't that fun? You can just kind of maneuver it. Okay, so then just before I take it off the heat, if I slide it, that'll just clean my edges. You get a nice little puddled edge. And then I'm going to have my stamp ready here. This one with some text makes a nice look of um, some patterns in the sand. Okay, so now it's all melted and smooth. I'll take it off the heat. Can you see over there? And then while it's still molten, if I stamp into it, I can feel it kind of squish down in. Press it in, and as soon as it cools, it comes away. Isn't that fun? It gives you all that texture. And we'll let it cool a little bit more. I picked one up while it was still molten and everything was kind of moving around a little bit. So, but it cools quickly. It'll be real warm on the back. Oops. But each one comes out unique and different this way. And while it's warm, I can clear away the edges. another nice little tip sometimes you can put this back on the heat and just roll it to clean an edge that way and there you have a beautiful little seascape in miniature <laughs>